Good morning everyone. We have a shop safety tip for you today. What we have here is a hot chisel which needs repair work because of some mushrooming damage at the top. What has happened is through repeated use the top of the chisel has begun to swell down and mushroom out. What this results in is a work hardening and eventually a fracturing of the material which will eventually result in a chip flying off and injuring someone in the eye or in some other way. Here we can clearly see the mushroom chip I'm about ready to fracture off. And now here from the top, you can see the fracture. The first step of repair is to grind off the parts that are already fractured and about ready to break off. Remember, safety third. So now we have nice shiny metal. However, the problem was not actually fixed. The current fractures have been removed, but the work hardening of the molecular structure is still there, which means that very quickly fractures will return and an accident can happen. What we need to do is reheat the steel, de-stress the molecules, and bring it back to a soft and normalized state. Work hardening is when the molecular structure of the steel is compressed in a cold state. This results in the grain structure of the steel being compacted, compressed, and sheared past itself. Initially, this makes the steel harder. However, eventually, it cannot take any more stress and begins to fracture and fatigue. What happens is we have cleaned off the section that was initially broken, but the metal that has not fractured yet but still has stress built up in it needs to be removed. So we're going to heat the steel up to a normalized state that is just to the point at which a magnet no longer sticks, which will then return the steel back to a normalized or softened state. And this will then allow the piece to be used for quite a while. One point of interest is that we use this tool as a hot cut or a hot chisel, which means that we're not particularly worried about the actual temper of the cutting edge. Otherwise, we have to do this in a slightly different state in order to soften the head to keep the cutting edge nice and hard. To normalize the steel, we want to bring it up to the point of magnetic transition, as where the magnet no longer sticks to the steel. However, we want to bring it just to that point. So we're not talking bright, hot, yellow-orange for actually forging temperature. We want just enough so that it reaches the austenitic transformation, i.e. the magnet no longer sticks. So let's give her a test. Nope, not quite ready yet. So let's give it a test. There we go. That should be good from there. Now I'll get that, let that rest. And cool in its own. So there we have it. The chisel has been repaired, ground down, normalized, and de-stressed. So it's ready for hours of more work before this process has to be repeated. Have fun.